As soon as you push and he's out, it's gone. You don't feel it. So don't think, if you are going to go naturally, don't think about the ring of fire. Just breathe in, breathe out, and push. Do not push because they're telling you to push. Push when your body says to push. I know it sounds weird when I say that, but you will know. Like, you'll know when your body's telling you. You are in power. You, all, all the power. So, it, it hurt. But I would do it again because I felt strong and I was like, I got control over my body. Like, I can do this. I mean, I needed the support and the strength from my husband and the nurses, but I knew I could do it because that's what I wanted to do. And I'm really glad I did it. And we did cord, cord delay too. So what that means is when the baby comes out, they don't automatically snip the umbilical cord. They wait a little bit so that blood flow keeps going through. Um, there are a lot of reasons why we decided to do that. Henry was a little hesitant on it because he was an EMT before and, you know, he's delivered a lot of babies and just cut the clamp right away. <laughs> so, but once he did research on it and realized that it was beneficial for Dawson, we ended up doing it. Henry had no idea that Dawson you know, was coming out because I was on my knees. Normally, a woman gives birth on their back, but we're not supposed to. I mean, gravity doesn't work that way. That's a lot of pain on your back. And that's why probably a lot of women get the epidural. So the next time, you know, if you want to do natural childbirth or you want to do even with an epidural, get on your knees <laughs> because that's the best thing. Because gravity, whew, gonna happen and I mean just talking about it and just thinking like it's amazing and we did a back delay too because the gooey nasty stuff that's on baby actually is great for their skin it actually decreases the chances of them having sensitive skin eczema rashes irritation things like that because we did a bath delay, Dawson has only had, I think, one diaper, one or two diaper rashes, but that was just not really a diaper rash because he doesn't wear disposables. It was more like a, um, a sweat, like a sweat burn or whatever you want to call it because he was just really sweaty. And so um, it happens when they're hot. Um, it even happens to little girls. So it really wasn't a diaper rash, but it just, it helps with that. So if, you know, in your family or yourself have sensitive skin or allergies, things like that, it just, it helps just leaving that on. Um, there are other benefits to it, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I wish I wrote all this stuff down before I started the video. Um, and also, I know this is going to cause a bunch of mumbo jumbo and it's a t hasty topic and it's something that people don't want to talk about but we didn't circumcise him you know it's we didn't at first I was going to but I did so much research on it and all those things that they tell you are not true I mean back then the only reason that they didn't circumcise was so that men don't touch themselves <laughs> and I mean it's true that they figured that it would stop it and it didn't it just caused a lot of babies to die and I'm not gonna get all into it and be advocacy about it is that even a word be an advocate about it or say that I'm strongly about it I wouldn't judge anybody for their choices on what they make in parenting or as a mother because as a mom you get judged every day so why should somebody else judge you for your choices I mean it happens you do what you think is best and in that moment, I thought it was best for Dawson. I thought it was the greatest thing for him, but it really wasn't. So we didn't we decided not to. Um, let's see. Another reason why we decided, well, I decided to go natural was because uh, I wanted the experience, you know? I wanted to feel the pain. I wanted to know what birth giving birth felt like 
Because with Kai, I was, like I said, completely numb. So I didn't feel anything. So I wanted to feel what it felt like. I know that sounds weird, but I wanted to. Because I was like, I'm a, I'm a mom of two now. I want to know what it feels like. I want to be able to say I did it. And that it, <laughs> and I'll do it again. <laughs> um, it, it was a great experience. I know a lot of people say terrible things about it, but I literally, as, so, as soon as I gave birth to him, he was sleeping, and da um, Dawson, Kaya, and Henry were sleeping. And then the nurse came in really quietly around like 4.30 in the morning, and she asked if, I wanted to shower and I was like yeah and I got right up off the bed she's like you don't want any help I'm like no I'm good <laughs> so I got right up out of the bed I was like I was waiting to get out of this bed because they're so uncomfortable I mean why would you give yourself drugs just so that you have to sit in an uncomfortable bed to the point that when you get out of it you feel like you can't walk it's so bad so I got up I took a shower and I felt so so much better I mean if you've gave if you've given birth before the shower is the best moment besides you know holding your baby for the first time but <laughs> um and I cried and Henry didn't I was like wow <laughs> but Henry won't, won't cry at anything I mean there's very little things that make him emotional who knows <laughs> um what was I gonna say? I was gonna say? So yeah, and then the next day after I gave birth to him, we were walking in the store and everybody's like, oh my god, you just gave birth? And I'm like, yesterday? <laughs> I'm like, you're walking? I was like, ah, I did it naturally. So I was able to walk and I was able to walk quite a, quite a good amount of distance. And I was fine, I'm still fine. And, and then we moved hours away like 10 hours away from where we were with a newborn and a two-year-old and to be honest they were pretty great we did a few stops for the bathroom and Kaya held it the entire time to go to the bathroom whenever we did a stop she had to pee and Dawson was great he slept most of it and when we stopped, he did a feeding, and it was great. Um, and then we made it, and I was tired. <laughs> I just wanted to go to bed. Um, let's see. The other reason I chose natural childbirth because the more I looked into the drugs that I took when I had Kaya, I realized that I didn't like Pitocin and I didn't want it in my body because it's a really strong drug it's like giving it's basically easy hmm. it's a nicer way to say morphine so if you don't like morphine or if you know how strong morphine is or what it actually is that's kind of what Pitocin is and so I was like yeah I don't want that because I mean if you can't even take simple Tylenol while you're pregnant. I don't understand why people at the very moment before your baby is entering this world, the first thing they get hit with is a drug. I, I don't know. <laughs> Again, I'm not judging people because I did it. I was unaware. I didn't do any research. So I'm definitely, if there is a regret mom for getting an epidural, that's me. <laughs> um, I wouldn't do it again. Mmm, let's see. What else can I say about natural childbirth? Hmm. The recovery time was so much faster. With Kaya, I had to sit on ice packs. I never felt like it was going to go back. I felt like it was going to be a disaster down there. It looked pretty much like Edward Scissorhand went down there. Kaya scratched me the way out. I had four two degree stitches or no three yeah four and yeah it was bad and then I was stitched up from the cut that they had to cut me to get her out so I had five stitches 
and they were pretty good stitches. I mean, when I peed, I've never had a yeast infection, urinary tract infection, nothing like that, but it burned and I was like, I feel for the people that get this because it was terrible. And I always had to um, spray myself down there with the, uh, that little squirter bottle. That thing is like the best thing ever. But I constantly had to do that and do the sits bath and everything like that. With Dawson, I didn't have to do that. I literally have the spray bottle with me once in a while when I spray and then wipes and I was fine. I didn't really have to do a whole lot of things. I didn't have to, um, what do you call it, use witch hazel or anything like that. With Kaya, I did constantly and ugh, it was just terrible. I just, ugh, thinking about the pain, like sitting down, I was crying. Just to sit down, it was the worst. I just, <sighs> with Dawson, I was able to sit, stand. I probably could have did the splits if I knew how to do the splits. <laughs> um, it was just faster recovery time. I think I recovered completely, just like stretching back and being able to sit up and feel myself again. I would say maybe three weeks, two weeks with Kaya and it didn't take until she was four months old almost five months old for me to be like I feel myself again it was a long long journey and I mean even to put a bra on and be like I feel good about myself I, I couldn't even do that with Kaya like I felt disgusting I didn't even want to put on jeans and with Dawson, I wear jeans, I wear leggings, I wear bras, bralettes, like, I feel good about myself. <laughs> with Kaya, it wasn't the same, I just, I felt groggy, didn't, didn't want to brush my hair, my hair was falling out, I just, I didn't feel myself, but I do, after having a natural childbirth, I feel great. Um, so... That's my story on natural childbirth and epidural versus the two, natural versus epidural. My experience, personally, um, I'm not, like I said, not judging anybody for what you did. That's how you had your baby, and your baby's here. That's all that matters. Um, I'm just glad I prevented twice a C-section. Um, if I had to get one, that's how my baby was going to be here, but... I prevented them twice and I feel great um, so that's my look on both of them in case you guys are wondering if you have any other questions versus natural um, what I did before natural tire breath I do stretches drink tons of water drink teas all kinds of stuff like that um, if you guys want to know more about that, let me know. If you want to know more about what I did to prepare for an epidural birth, let me know. Because you do have to be extremely still getting that epidural. You cannot move. If you move, you could probably impair yourself from the waist down and be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life, which really scared me. Um, so it's terrifying to get an epidural and it's terrifying to have a natural childbirth, but it's up to you You're the mama so you can choose what you want to do what's best for you because it's your body You're the one that's giving birth um, So this is your decision not Your family's decision not your husband's decision. It's you um, So let me know if you guys want to know more about certain things certain topics that I talked about um, especially if you want to delay cord clamping or cord delay cord cutting the cord or bath or anything like that just let me know thank you guys so much for watching once again and tune in next time for our next vlog